and transgender athletes from women's sports. By Sarah Rumpf. The Virginia House of Delegates advanced a bill on Monday that would ban transgender women and girls from competing in women's sports at any level in Virginia schools. The purpose of House Bill 1837 is to protect our girls and young women from being forced to compete against biological males, Delegate Karen Greenhalgh, R. Virginia Beach, said. Similarly gifted and trained males will always have the physical advantage over females, which is the reason we have women's sports. A Virginia House of Delegates subcommittee voted along party lines to move House Bill 1387 to the full Education Committee. The controversial bill, patroned by Greenhalgh, would ban transgender women and girls from competing on any interscholastic, intercollegiate, intramural, or club athletic team at any school or college in the state. Even the strongest, fastest girls in Virginia must step up to the starting line and know, I can't win, said Greenhalg. Their goals are gone, their chance at winning and recognition and scholarship, it's just not fair for women to lose these opportunities. Caitlyn Jenner opposes boys' WHO or trans playing sports on girls' teams in school. The legislation would require transgender athletes in the Commonwealth to compete in sports aligned with their biological sex. If passed, the law would apply to all athletes from kindergarten through 12th grade, at public colleges and universities, as well as intercollegiate, interscholastic and club sports. Under current Virginia High School League, VHSL, regulations, Transgender athletes wishing to have their identity recognized for competition must provide documentation of their transition, including lists of medication taken. The decision is then left to a VHSL district committee to be made on a case-by-case basis. Since these rules were enacted in 2014, 28 transgender students have applied and 25 have been granted the right to play on teams aligning with their gender identities. Republicans currently control the Virginia House of Delegates by a 51 to 47 margin. However, Democrats have a 22 to 18 majority in the state Senate, making the bill's fate beyond the Virginia House uncertain. Virginia LT, Governor, Sears torches high school's equity-based rule on merit awards. This is not America. On his first day in office, Biden issued an executive order saying students should play on sports teams based on their gender identity. Since the president's decisive stance on transgender athletes, an onslaught of bills have emerged from over two dozen states. In 2021, lawmakers in at least 24 states proposed similar legislation to ensure participation in women's sports is based on female biology, not gender identity. Federal legislation in 2021 was also introduced in the House and Senate. The Protection of Women and Girls in Sports Act, H.R. 426, S-251, states that schools that allow biological males to compete in girls' athletics could lose federal funding. Click here to get the Fox News app. Title X established a fair and equal chance for women and girls to compete, and sports should be no exception, Sen Kelly Loeffler, Arga, stated, referring to the section of the Education Amendments of 1972 that prohibits sex discrimination in federally funded education programs. As someone who learned invaluable life lessons and built confidence playing sports throughout my life, I'm proud to lead this legislation to ensure girls of all ages can enjoy those same opportunities. This common sense bill protects women and girls by safeguarding fairness and leveling the athletic field that Title X guarantees. Virginia now, where state lawmakers have advanced a controversial bill affecting transgender student athletes. The legislation would require students of all ages to compete in sports according to their biological sex. Bob Barner joins us live uh, from Falls Church with the latest developments on this controversial measure. Bob, good morning. Hey, Jeanette, good morning to you. Yes, this legislation passed a House of Delegates uh, Higher Education Subcommittee only 10 members there, six to four was the vote. Uh, Republicans in the majority, they voted along party lines. This legislation is sponsored by a a Republican state delegate from Virginia Beach. And as you mentioned, it would require that transgender athletes compete in sports based on their biological sex. And we're talking students from kindergarten through 12th grade, all levels of competition, including club sports, and at public colleges and universities. Uh, We had a chance to listen into the uh, hearing yesterday. Here is the uh, Republican sponsor and a delegate from Fairfax County opposed to this legislation. 
The purpose of House Bill 1387 is to protect our girls and young women from being forced to compete against biological males. Young women athletes should be encouraged to achieve their full potential and to enjoy all the benefits of competition, which was the sole purpose of Title IX. Similarly gifted and trained males will always have the physical advantage over females, which is the reason we have women's sports. I'd like to know why this is an issue of urgency. Uh, we have had transgender youth living um, in the Commonwealth. There's been no takeover of women's sports up until now. Um, and I just don't understand why this conversation continues. Um, it's framed as a crisis that needs to be resolved now. And my question is why? Now, House Bill 1387 now goes to the full House Education Committee. It will be meeting on this legislation tomorrow. No telling how this or similar leg uh, legislation would do in the Virginia State Senate, which is a Democrat majority body. Uh, just for point of reference, guys, during the last school year, there were 174,000 high school student athletes here in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and we're told nine of them registered identifying as transgender. Hmm. That definitely gives us some perspective. Thanks, Bob. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Nine